Hey guys, how you doing? It's Drew here, and today is day number 1066 review video, guys. 1066, that's, that's pretty crazy. So today's video, guys, we're going to do some more um, audit talk. I like to any little information that I'm finding now, just because we are, I don't want to say, oh, so close to the end of the audit, but it's like we're definitely over the halfway mark kind of thing with the information that we found. Um, I like to share as much as I can in these videos where I feel comfortable about sharing it. Like I know the news I'm sharing is not like 100%. I'm not thinking like, Oh, this might not be true or something like that. Um, like the possibilities of it being true are more over the 90% than under the 90% kind of thing like that. Okay. So, uh, once again, guys, I just want to say anything when I talk about the audit, and the news that I'm saying has not been put out by the company or it hasn't been shared by, you know, the top leader in the system or something like that. This is just my findings or someone else's findings that they've shared with me. Or um, uh, maybe even I'll talk about my opinion on other people's findings or something like that, right? So I just want to say that, like I'm always saying <laughs> before I go into the audit talk, um, uh, before we get going here. Okay. Also, I'm going to answer this question here in video and I actually blocked this guy from my channel just because, uh, you know, yesterday, I don't know if you saw his question in yesterday's video, but it was just totally stupidity, like not following updates. He's, I looked into it. He's not even on my team. And what I noticed here was he is trying to stir a shit pot on my YouTube, uh, comments there. Cause I noticed that some people like liked his comments and then I went and I looked into these people who are liking his comments and it's kind of the same like profile, like no liked videos, no, uh, like nothing. It was just like a, a name and a channel kind of thing like that. But what he says here is actually like, it's, it's a good question if you don't know anything. Okay. So if, I know when I read this, a lot of people are going to think like, like even I know that and I just started. I'm going to answer this question because it like, to me, it's, I don't want to say stupid question, but it's something that like, I wouldn't even think about because I wouldn't think anyone else would be thinking about that is this right <laughs> is uh, think about the situation of an investor who invested a thousand to $5,000 SWCT in May or June, 2023. What would, uh, what would have his earnings right now? Okay. It's a big zero. So this person's trying to be negative in my comments, right? As I was just saying in May or June, did we know there was an audit? No. Did the company know there was an audit guys? There was probably, I don't think they knew about it. Right. Um, but there was probably hints of it that they should do an audit. Right. Um, uh, something you guys may not understand about an audit, this type of audit. And we're going to get into this when we get into the audit talk, this is the type of audit. And this type of audit here, guys, is it that type of audit starts if the company says we need to get an audit. We need to be audited because we need to clear up news that is being said about us. Okay. That's what a forensic audit is. Okay. So it's not a government coming to S group in S group's case, right? It's not a government coming to S group saying we need to audit you. It's S group going to the government and saying, can you audit us? Because we want to clear these allocations against us. Okay. Which I've talked about this in many videos before. What were the allocations? We'll go back to here. What were the allocations against S group guys was that they were, uh, what, 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 what was the exactly were the exact wording they used supporting, Oh, supporting Ukraine war efforts. That's what they, they, uh, they said there. So um, you know, these scam bloggers and, and stuff like that. That's how all this started was the scam bloggers, you know, trying to make uh, hit pieces on, on S group there. Uh, you know, what is a scam blog guys? It's basically, if you look into a scam blog, the purpose of it is to either get views like the news, or it's to build an email list or it's to sell you something else. Like that's the perfect purpose of a scam blog. They don't actually care what they're blogging about. It's like the news same. Like, as I just said, they don't, the news doesn't actually care about what they're, they're, uh, reporting on. They care about what they're saying to get views. That's basically it. Right. And that's why you see most news is negative news. Okay. We're talking about the news you'd see on your TV or hear on your radio, right? You never hear, or you hardly ever hear positive news. Like, uh, when you turn on the news, 
say CNN or Fox or anything like that, guys, most of the time you're going to hear, you know, uh, about bad things like robbery or about like political uh, corruption or, you know, that type of thing. You're not going to hear constantly good positive news about people doing stuff great in their community. You'll hear a little bit about that, but it's not all about that, right? Most of it, 90% is like about negative stuff because they know that negativity attracts views. And it's the same thing with online marketing, guys, is you'll have people out there that, you know, they'll make up content, they'll make up stories about people or about opportunities to try and, you know, have another purpose to it. Okay, so they'll say something's a scam or they'll say someone's a scammer or something like that to get views to their content. It's either going to, as I said, build an email list like a, you know, a, a thing will pop up on your screen saying enter your email address and we'll send you more information or, or we'll send you a free ebook or whatever, whatever kind of thing like that. Or they'll have, um, you know, you'll be reading the scam review article or, or article on something that is, you know, based upon negativity and halfway down or near the bottom, you'll start to notice like this person's trying to sell me something. He's trying to sell me some trading course or something like that, right? That's related to the topic of what that article is about there, right? Um, type thing like that. Or the sneakiest people out there, guys, the, the scam uh, blog people, what they do is they have banner ads on their um, blogs, okay? So they're actually getting paid to advertise on their blogs and they're creating content, even though the content might be, you know, you can't see they're trying to sell something. They're not collecting an email address. Well, most of them do, but uh, you can't see exactly what the person's doing. It looks like they're just trying to be hundred percent authentic, authentic with you about what they're saying. But then if you look into it, they've got banner ads all over everything that, you know, these banner ads mean nothing to what they're talking about kind of thing. You can see, okay, that's how that person's making money. And that would be their, why their reason to do that type thing. So, um, now that, uh, you know, that guys, uh, you know, why, you know, S group has how many active members do they have? They've got 130,000 active members, meaning that they have millions and millions of people that have went and created their account in S group, which would make it probably one of the biggest business opportunities online in, you know, that side of the world, uh, Russia and, and Ukraine, and I'd even say, uh, Europe and stuff like that. Right. So of course there's going to be content made about it, right? Even these little piddly systems that last uh, six months or three months that are straight up Ponzi schemes, there's people making content about them saying they're Ponzi schemes and stuff. So definitely S group is going to get a lot of attention from those um, scam blogger review people out there. So what ends up happening is there's so much of that scam blogger review content that S, S group is like, we need to put an end to this and we need to prove to the public that what these people are saying, right, about S group, that, you know, the only way they can basically say this thing is not legit. They can't, you know, they can't just say, oh, it's a Ponzi scheme or it's a scam because they have to prove that. And with six years of trading data that's positive and people making like myself, like I've almost made a million dollars through S group, right? Um, they can't say something like that is a scam and then prove it, right? So they have to basically make up something that people would feel, oh my God, yeah, maybe that's true kind of thing. So what they ended up doing was, um, you know, they would say stuff like, uh, uh, we used to have on the website and you'll understand the reason it was taken off very shortly here is they used to have on the website, a charity page, right? Where you could donate to whatever charity they were doing kind of thing. Like most of the time it was like for animal hospitals or sick kids or something like that. And it was a very, very small thing on, uh, uh, the homepage. It was just called S charity. I think it was, and it was there for probably about a year. And so what ended up happening guys was because all these scam blogger review people, they couldn't prove S group was a scam or there was anything like physically wrong with the earnings and, and that type of thing, like in a scammy way, they started saying that that S charity, because of the war with Ukraine and Russia was going on, that that S charity page was supporting the war efforts, meaning that that was not going to charities and stuff. It was going to like, you know, what Canada and the UK and America and uh, basically every first world uh, uh, English speaking country was doing was supporting the Ukraine uh, effort in the war, right? So that's what they were saying was that S group, because the owner is you a Ukrainian guy, 
they, they live in Dubai. They don't live in, in Ukraine, but they're born in Ukraine. That they were um, using this uh, uh, S, uh, S charity page to support the Ukraine war, to help out Ukraine in the war, right? And, you know, if so many uh, bloggers out there, you know, are saying that, then S group is like, we have to put an end to this. This is just completely crazy. So then what did they do, guys? They went and S group asked to be audited. And this is the type of audit that we're going through is a forensic um, audit there. I've, I've given, given a little bit of information what Google says the forensic audit is, but basically final financial records and looking into uh, issues to find answers on questions. That's exactly what is happening, okay? So because of this, okay, this audit, right? What has happened is if you go over to the exchange page, this will be like the ultimate audit video of this will answer all your questions about the audit. This will answer like for those people who are living under a rock, like that guy in my YouTube comments there that I blocked that doesn't understand anything really. Um, this will answer the question of like, why can't you withdraw SWCT or sorry, not withdraw. Why can't you exchange SWCT in S wallet, right? Um, why... Uh, uh, okay, if you're earning, like today I made some STD here, right? About 200 bucks of it or so. Um, why can't I exchange this into USDT or some cryptocurrency or something like that? Okay, so if you continue to watch this video, you'll understand all this stuff. So if we go over to the exchange page here, guys, you can see what's available for exchange. STD and SWP were never available in here. So if you ever see anyone out there trying to uh, prove a point or make a point or whatever about that. Oh, S SWP and STD. Uh, uh, it's, you know, that's part of this scam or something like that because you can't sell it either. Okay. You could never sell it in S wallet. It was always in S trade where you'd sell it and you'd sell it into SWCT. And then you would send the SWCT to S wallet. And then you'd sell SWCT into whatever you want, whatever's available over here in the get section, right? Okay, so because of this audit, and remember, S Group was the one that, that asked to be audited, right? Because they need to clear up this whole, you know, we're supporting the war efforts thing that all these scam bloggers are saying there, um, you know, it'd be the, uh, in the Russian, uh, language in Ukraine and all that kind of stuff. You don't see anything about that in English because the English blogs guys, I don't know what's with it, but they're just stupid to the point where they just say like, Oh, S group's a scam, but they don't prove it. <laughs> it's crazy. What ended up happening because S group was like, yeah, okay, let's get audited. Let's do this now because if we don't do it now, it's going to happen in the future. And it might happen at a time where we can't control, like we're not the ones saying audit us. Right. Okay, and uh, so what happened, guys, was that the broker that they use, okay, to do the trading, of course, found out about the audit because the auditors contacted the broker to look into the uh, funds for S Group, right? And what the broker decided to do was put a freeze on the account. So this was part of the updates that came out from the company. So if you don't know this, then you don't follow company news. And that's very, very sad and you need to do that. And we're going to get into how to do that in this video because that's very important. But I want to finish this off here, guys. Is th So they froze, the broker froze, not S group, guys. The broker froze deposits and withdrawals into and out of that account, okay? Which is the uh, S Forex account, okay? So, yes. This question here, now that should answer this question here. Um, it's just a sad situation, guys. If, if someone had have come in and, and you know, it's just that's just how it worked out kind of. That's the answer to this question here. But I want to go into this into like great detail so you actually understand what's going on. And it's just not some shit stirrer out there trying to stir shit and then makes you think about it because you don't even follow updates or something like that, right? So we're in s -Wall here. We understand why there's no, like why they've taken out SWCT out of here is because the broker has froze SWCT deposits and withdrawals, okay? If a company is trying to scam you, they're not gonna freeze or you know take out 
of the system, a way of you putting funds into it, right? They're not going to do that. They're going to leave it open for you to put funds in there. And then all of a sudden the system is going to disappear. And how do I know that? Because I've been online for 14 years and I've seen that happen like many, many times. Okay. Personally to myself, guys, I've seen it happen probably three times out of uh, those 14 years on myself. But that's what happens, guys. What S Group is doing here is the broker has froze the account, meaning they can't put in funds. They can't take out funds, S Group, out of that broker account. So what S Group has done is they've taken away the opportunity for you to sell SWCT into something else because there's no SWCT here for you to sell because the broker won't release it. So what does that mean? There's no liquidity of SWCT in S trade, there's no liquidity in S wallet. There you go. There's your simple, simple answer. Okay. If you think about things, almost running out of breath here. So that answers, uh, uh, why can't I withdraw SWCT for something else or exchange it? Okay. That answers the, why can't I, you know, the same thing with, with SWP or STD. Okay. Is because you need the liquidity of SWCT because those pairs, those trading pairs are in S trade. Okay. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. All you simply have to do is look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, that's that, that's an understanding there. Okay. What this SGCT is here, guys, this is a new investment that they made during the audit for people to continue investing and withdrawing while well, it's per week, if you want to withdraw per week in it. Right. And they made this investment here for during the audit for the the people that, you know, want to continue to sponsor or they want to continue to uh, build their investment and have a withdrawable investment during the audit. Because as we know, they said this is going to take probably most likely two to three months. We're, we just passed our third month now, guys, about a week ago. Uh, uh, Sergi, the leader, he put an, out an announcement saying like, this is going to go into the fourth month. We don't know exactly how long this audit's going to take. So that's what I'm going to get into now. Okay, is why can't the company, we'll go back to this page, why can't the company put out the news, this is when the audit's going to end on blah, blah, blah date at blah, blah, blah time. Okay, so once again, this is not take a rocket scientist to figure this out. If you even understand what the word audit means, you know that once you get audited or a company gets audited, it's up to the auditors to finish that audit and send you the information, what they found or whatever. And then, you know, Hey, it's done. <laughs> okay. So knowing a date of when an audit is going to be completed is impossible. No one knows that even the auditors, they're doing the audit. They don't know that information, right? Because it's not done until they finish. And when they finish, they have to tell you. So these are the steps of what will happen. Okay. With this audit guys is they're, you know, the auditors are doing the audit when they complete the audit, they send the information, the documents on the audit, basically what they found or what they haven't found, or, you know, the okay, or the not okay, that type of thing, guys, they would send it to the company, which is S group, right? The company would then send this information to the broker. The broker would look at it and the broker would release the funds. Okay. So what happens if the audit, or, or sorry, I'll finish this off. The broker would le release the funds and that would create liquidity in the exchange page for SWCT, which would create liquidity in S trade for STD and SWP to sell at whatever, you know, they're selling at, and you could sell that into uh, SWCT and then sell that into USDT or whatever you want to do, or send it back to S wallet and then sell it into whatever kind of thing for the actual value of it, which is $1 for an SWCT. Okay. So once the audit's done, then the liquidity will come, uh, to S wallet and you can withdraw whatever you want out of S wallet. Okay. The company has not put out the news. This is the type of audit. I saw Sergi the top leader in S group, he posted this, that this is the type of audit they're doing. I didn't even know there was that type of audit. And then I started doing research on what different types of audits are, what they're about and stuff. And that's how I figured out that this type of audit here, um, that there's only two scenarios for it, right? Is that 
government officials are like, like if your company is really, really corrupt, like say money laundering or something like that, they would do this type of audit on it. Or if your company, like you need to clear up news about your company, like people are saying that your company is corrupt, it's a scam, stuff like that, then this is the t type of audit that you would do. Okay. So that's the, you know, stuff I figured out about it. Okay. So, um, the next thing here, guys, from here on, from here on out, um, I'm really sorry, but the news from here on out guys is just my, you know, what I've heard from other people or like news that like I figured out on my own kind of thing like that. And, you know, I want to share with you guys in this video, like, think about it. Like if I share stuff in this video and a hundred and something people see it within the first week or whatever, when I put it out, that's a hundred a hundred and whatever people or maybe 300, who knows? Some of my views on my videos are like three to 500 people. Um, that's, you know, that many more people, that's not just one person, which would be myself or two people, which would be the, you know, me and the person who sent me the information or something that, you know, this is hundreds and hundreds of people that can now, they know this information and they can look into it for themselves and figure stuff out, right? So this is, this is a, a part of the reason why I would do this stuff and I just wouldn't keep it to like my team or whatever kind of thing, okay? So there's two scenarios for the audit. It's either being audited by you, uh, uh, the Ukraine government, okay? Or it's being audited by the UK government, okay? So those are the two different scenarios there, okay? And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say that or not, but if you just look into things, you'll figure that out, right? So um, most, most likely, guys, it's not Ukraine. I'm kind of leaning towards the UK here, like, you know, like this much leaning towards, I'm not even a little bit, I'm you know, almost all the way over there. Um, probably the UK guys, that's what I'm leaning on. So I haven't even bothered looking into, you know, Ukraine and, and all that uh, type of thing there. Okay. But here's something here. Okay. So if it is UK, which I'm thinking most likely it is, then this is the uh, sanction the court act number, which it would be. Okay. Which this is kind of neat. Cause this is my birth year. So this is it here, guys, if you want to just, you know, if you want to look into this yourself kind of thing. So sanction one, uh, one, two, seven, one, whatever. And then this word here, court act 1980. Okay. And you can look into this stuff. Okay. So if you just simply go to Google and look into this, and this is how I figured out or not I, I shouldn't say that because someone else shared this information with me and then we looked into it and then, you know, this person actually did way more than me. And he's asked uh, me um, to not say his name or anything in these videos, just because, you know, if hundreds of people are watching this and then I share his say name and then people find, uh, figure out who that is, they might message him and then bug him. And that's just a waste of his time, right? He's doing this to figure things out for himself. And then he thought that he would help me because he watches my videos and stuff like that. So very thankful for that. Okay. But once again, all this stuff that I'm showing you here, guys, is not news the company has put out. This is news that like, uh, we have figured out like me and other members and stuff like that. Okay. So if it's the UK, this is it here. So if it's the UK, I haven't looked into the Ukraine side of things yet, guys, if it's Ukraine, that's doing the audit, because I just, I just don't think it is. I think it's the UK. Right. Um, and this is why I said the other day in my video, I think three, two or three videos ago, I said the worst possible scenario for this audit as in a timeline is six months. Okay. And this is how I figured this. Well, I didn't figure it out. Someone else figured it out. And then they sent me the news. This is how we know of this, right? Is that if you look into the, you know, dot uh, gov UK, like they say six months right on the website there. Okay. So this is the exact text, what he, which he sent me. Okay. So, uh, uh, for cases which can only be, uh, held in the blah, blah, blah court. Um, the police have a time limit of six months from the date that the offense took place, uh, to start, uh, uh proceedings against the defendant. Okay. So meaning that S group went and, uh, um, July 1st, they started the audit. Okay. So six months from July 1st, that's the maximum amount of time that the auditors have to look into this. And if they don't find anything, 
which they haven't found yet, right? Because I don't think they will find anything because it's been three months and they haven't found anything. So that would just <laughs> make sense that it's going to take six months, right? That's what I'm saying here and, and why I said six months in, in my video. You know, they should put out um, uh, proof about this, guys. Even if they block out, say, the country or something and they just leave a screenshot there for us, I think that would be, be, be better than just doing nothing. Um, but I understand the reason why they would do nothing, right? The reason why they do nothing is because they're going to have people slow this audit down, meaning there's going to be people contacting the the uh, 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 country or they'll be even trying to contact the auditor, like the auditing office, right? Um, because I'm sure that information might be in there. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. So um, there you go, guys. That's uh, some information there about why I would say like this could take us six months. Um, if we move on over here, I already went over this here. Okay. So that's basically it for the um, audit information, guys. This is probably the most detailed audit information video I've done. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm going to do a, a little withdrawal here of the STD. I'm gonna, we're going to count up how much, because I never actually did this. I'm going to count up how much I made on Friday's earnings, right? Because today's Monday, so I can do that. And we haven't earned yet because it's not even 12 in the afternoon. And we'll earn tonight. And I can do that. So I'm going to shoot on over here to finance, do a withdrawal. Um, yeah, guys, if you ever find information like... Obviously, obviously, I'm trying to get you guys information here, um, you know, and any information, once again, any information that I share or show in this videos, these videos here, guys, that hasn't come from the company or hasn't come from the top leader, like he shared information that the company shared with him in the chat groups there, then take it with a grain of salt. Take it with how I'm taking it. Like, oh, this could help us out. Let's get into this here. I'm gonna do a withdrawal, guys. I just really, really want this to be crystal clear that the information I'm saying in this videos, when I say something about an audit, the S group audit guys, and it's not official, like this is coming from the company or this is coming from the top leader or something like that. It's just information I'm sharing that you guys know, like this is just stuff we found, okay? And it's not like coming from the company, okay? So please don't go out there and be like, I saw Drew say this in some video and it must be true and it's going to take six months, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Cause it might not, who knows, maybe next week the audit's done. Right. And then everything I'm saying in this video doesn't matter. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's think like that and we'll, let's not get over, over ourselves. Okay. So I got to go one less on here. We got to go over to S wallet there. Oh, actually I want to see if anyone said that they want to buy that off me because I posted in here about 20 minutes ago oh an hour ago exactly um, that I have STD for sale right so why I would sell STD guys is because um, as you guys know I'm just stacking up on the um, SWCT here like I've got 28,000 something of it there and I'm stacking up on it because, you know, I want to make some wicked withdrawal proof when the audit's done. And, you know, we need that money to replenish our savings and stuff like that, right? So that's why I'm selling and I'm not uh, reinvesting my profits and stuff in STD, right? I've got enough investment in S Group. Like I'm doing every single investment in here, um, but I don't need to focus on any more investments other than, you know, I have goals to focus more on Forex, but that's going to come at a later time kind of thing here, right? Okay. So I'm going to grab this address here. We'll put this withdrawal into there. But yeah, I am selling the STDs, guys. You can buy them. You can buy my STDs. Um, <laughs> that sounds so funny to say. Uh, for SWCT, because I'm, as I said, I'm saving that up, right? Okay, and I recommend if you're doing that as well, like put out the news for your team that you can sell STD. So they don't have to bring in fresh funds if they want to get involved with S Crypto, right? You can... Uh, 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 they can uh, uh, send you SWCT for it. So that's what I'm doing there, okay? So there's that withdrawal. Man, a lot of talking in this video. Sometimes I just get going and I don't stop. But I think that's good because I know a lot of you guys, you're going through this time. We can't withdraw. A lot of you guys didn't think very thoroughly about you know, what you're putting into S group and you might have put 100% of your savings into there or 100% of your crypto holdings or something like that. 
And then now you're in a situation where, you know, maybe you were reliant on it, reliant on your withdrawals and you'd quit your job and stuff. I, I talked about this in a video the other day, guys, of like for online income, you have to treat it like if it's, you know, something like your day job, right? Where you got to take a, a treat your online income like that, guys, like have a savings be what I say is you need to be making two to three times as much as you're making at your day job to even think about quitting your day job, meaning that you're going to be able to save a lot and you should have a savings of six months before you quit your day job there. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So we did that withdrawal there. We're going to shoot on over to investments and I'm going to count up, which is going to be crazy. I'm going to count up my earnings from Friday, which we had like a banger day on Friday, guys, in Optimal. So the earnings in Optimal on Friday were crazy. They were nuts. But before we get into that, let's go to the 15% chat. And I want to show you guys, I'm doing my best to try and get you guys the information. Okay. So this is a message to Vadim here. Okay. I don't know if he'll respond to it. I've noticed they don't really like, I don't, I shouldn't say they don't like me but they, uh, in the 15% group there, they kind of ignore my English, <laughs> right? Like I'm not going to put Russian in here. I'm not going to try and use the translator and put it in here. Cause I might say something where the translator, you know, has a word off and then it loses the meaning and it might like offend someone or something like that. I don't want that to happen. So I put English in here and then I make them use the translator if they don't speak English. I just think that's the way to do it. Okay. So, uh, here, I'll, I'll go down here and show you guys this. So this is what makes me feel that it's okay um, for us to get the criminal case registry for the case, the audit against um, the S group SWCT, which is USDT in the broker, right? Okay. So I, I asked like, where do I find this, right? Because if, if we have this criminal case registry, right? then that would clear up possibility of someone thinking the audit is fake, right? Like if we could go to Google, go to say the UK government or whatever government, the criminal uh, audits uh, in the, what do they call it? Forensic audit is in, and we could actually look at the case registry for it. Cause that's public information, right? Then that would clear up any question about is the audit fake or not. But here's the thing is I'm not sure he's willing to share that publicly because someone asked that in this group here, okay? In the 15% group, which most of these members went to Dubai, that meeting and that information was shared in Dubai. So to me, I kind of think we're not supposed to share this publicly. So I'll know like if they respond to me, if he responds to me, whatever in the 15% group guys, um, he might tell me like, this is, this is it, but this is for your eyes only or something. I don't know guys. So if that's the case, then I guess I'll say something, but it'll just have to be my word of mouth that you believe. <laughs> right. Um, they're like that. Like, I wish, I wish that, that, uh, you know, everything could be public guys, but obviously like if like you, when you think about this logically, you'll understand why they publicly can't share every single thing or even why maybe bearing the criminal case act, uh, audit, um, uh, you know, if like to look it up and stuff like that on Google, UK government or whatever government it's with, why that might not be a good idea is because then it gives people motive to go and look into it more, which means to try and contact the auditor or try and contact that government. And then that will slow things down. And that's what Vadim's afraid of. And that's what the company's afraid of is that members are going to, you know, slow things down. And this audit will take six months, the full six months, um, if it's in the UK. And we all know watching this video now that Google's telling us and the UK government's telling us that the maximum this can take is six months, right? Because if it's longer than six months, they drop it at six months. Okay. So, so this is it here, guys. Okay. So he says, uh, this is uh, uh, Vadim here. Okay. So he's saying, please look at the regis register of criminal cases. <laughs> So he's telling us to go look at it, but I don't know what country it's in because I didn't go to that event. My sponsor didn't go to that event. I could ask Sergi because my sponsor sponsor is Sergi. So I have the availability to do that. But 
there's a part of me that's like, I didn't go to that event, so do I have the right to know stuff? And then there's a part of me that's saying, like, it has to know this stuff and the company doesn't want me to public share it, then what's the point of me knowing this stuff, right? I don't have to know it. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm leaving it at, guys, is that um, I've asked in group, and if he responds to me and sends me a link or, or says this is the country it's in and then a link to where I'm supposed to look or whatever kind of thing like that, or if anybody responds, I don't think anyone's going to respond to it unless it's him. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look into it. And then depending on what he says, if he says like, this is for your eyes only, or this is for 15% and above eyes only or something, then I won't share it publicly guys, just because the company doesn't want me to do that. And I've signed an agreement, the marketing agreement with them, uh, that type of thing. Like I'm not working for another company. So yeah. So I just want to share that with you guys. Also I did, I'll show you here. I ask my sponsor. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. I see 15% chat, uh, said, uh, to, uh, go look for the criminal case registry, but I'm not hundred percent sure what country. Okay. I, th and he just linked back to what I just showed you guys there in the 15% group. Right. Okay. Originally I was thinking it's either Russia, right? Which he, he confirms here. It's definitely not Russia. Right. Um, you know, and I was thinking it's Russia or the UK. Okay. So he's saying either, and this is what made me thought, okay, maybe it is Ukraine because if you logically think about this, um, uh, but I'm leaning more towards, uh, UK, right. But I want to explain this, why he would say Ukraine guys is because it's probably okay for me to show that. Cause he's my sponsor is because if you think about it this way, right, this kind of audit would be, as I was saying at the start of the video, is S Group going to clear their name about all this scam stuff, right? Like they have to get rid of that or it's going to be hard for them to move on and become a billion dollar company, right? Like they have to nail it in the head like these people are just bullshit, right? The scam review people, right? So they went and they asked to be audited basically, like I said before, right? So if they asked to be audited and they're being audited for the scam review people out there saying that they're supporting the Ukraine war effort, then that's why them being audited by Ukraine might, you know, might be the, the, that maybe that's the country they'd be, aud they'd be audited by. But I'm leaning, as I said before, I'm leaning more towards the UK because that's the country that, that S group is registered in. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go over here to the careers page. We'll end it. This one's been super, super, but I think this is a really, really good video. And